hey what's up family it's your girl african export welcome to the realist channel on the yt i'm kind of bent over the table so if it looks like i'm in some weird position that's why but um this video is by the products that were sent to me were from naturallycurly.com may or may not know that they send me products periodically to do reviews on um, naturallycurly.com is a site dedicated to curly hair and they have a small subsection for african-american hair okay so they sent me some mazani products these are the two products that they sent me okay this is the true textures curl soft um, which is like a leave-in conditioner and then they sent me the uh, curl set which is like a a gel of some sort it says it's a moisturizing cream and if you look really closely on the bottom it does say for curl types wavy, wavy and zigzag coiled I'll make sure to put a detailed post with the ingredients and all of that on my blog but um, it's a 5.1 fluid ounce squeeze tube I've used the product um, once and I probably used maybe um, a quarter I'm very heavy-handed I think with the use of products especially uh, the moisturizing products that I layer on my hair after I wash and condition it okay so this is my hair now this is actually how I wear my hair underneath my wigs a lot of you guys ask so the hair has a lot of nice shine the uh, leave-in conditioner, what I noticed about it is that it has a lot of good slip. It has a consistency, kind of like a creamy, uh, kind of like a creamy lotion. Um, and it leaves a lot of shine to the hair. Now this high hole jelly, I don't really like it. The consistency is interesting. It's... It's not sticky, but it's thick. All of the products smell really good. Um, it's thick and creamy, and I can feel, um, it feels kind of oily, but it left flakes in my hair. So to me, that's a no-go. Um, also, I think that um, it could be that my hair needed clarifying, so I don't want to blame flakes solely on this product. But, I mean, I personally would prefer just a regular styling gel, that's just me, or a curl activator gel. Curl activator gels are also high in glycerin, um, so, meh, meh, okay, it's, um, five ounces I think it would be good for twists braid out sets and things like that especially if you have extremely coily hair uh, kinky hair like mine it does help smooth the hair so as far as the two products forgive me because as you can see this is a little bit informal the two products I would give the leave-in conditioning cream um, I would go ahead and give that maybe about a uh, three and a half to four out of five stars but the first few ingredients are water glycerin shea butter and cetero alcohol and soybean oil that's pretty good okay here is very very shiny um, my hair is also very very smooth I know it's not HD but you know what are you gonna do set I'm not exactly loving it doesn't seem excuse me it doesn't seem like a product that I would purchase the consistency of it is so unique that I would say that it you know a lot of curly haired women might find it interesting especially um, when you have a market of creams and gels this is definitely a, very different from anything else on the market for defining curls I think that I've, that I've tried, that I've seen. That's my review. The leave-in is cool and the curl cream is not for me, but I can see it as a product that some people may really fall in love with. So, yeah, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Keep it real. Until next time, I'm going to get off of my knees before they turn black. You know, like your grandma say, don't lean on your elbows and your knees. They're going to turn black. 
All right. Talk to you guys soon. Bye. Hugs. Mm.